You can use drag and drop on your iPad that's running iOS 11 to quickly move contents like images, URLs, documents and more from one app to another or from one folder to another very conveniently without the need to use the in-app share sheets. So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 ways you can use drag and drop on your iPad. Let's say you want to move some images to a note. So I'm going to open the Photos app and then the Notes app and put it into Split View. From the Photos app, I'm going to hold down the first app that I want to move and just start to drag a little bit. And then I can just tap on any other images that I also want to copy over to Notes. And when I've got enough, you can, I'm just still holding this down with my finger, you can see there's four images that I'm going to now drag across. And as I drag them, that blue four now turns into a green four and drop them. And I've now copied those images to a note. And I wanted to drag four images into a note. Then it's just a little bit more awkward. So I can tap and hold the first image and just drag it off a little bit, add a few more. Now I've got four. Now with my other hand, I have to open the dock and then drag it into notes. And then as I, as notes opens, I'm still holding it down. I have to create a new note because it's going to drop it in the last active note. So I need to open a new note and then I can drop it. It's much easier if you do this process in split view, have them open side by side. I can drag a photo from the Photos app to Mail or Messages. Open Photos, open Mail, put it into Split View, create a new Mail message, tap and hold the photo, just start to drag it and then select a few more photos and drag it across into the Mail message. I could also drop it into the messages. Now messages is not on my dock. So if I want to drag a photo into a message, it becomes a bit more complicated, but it's still doable. Tap and hold the images I want to copy these two. Because messages is not on the dock, I need to Tap the home button and I'm still holding on to the images. You can see they're here. They're waiting for me to do something with them. Open up messages, create a new message and drag them in to the messages app and then address your message and send it. So it's a bit more complicated if you haven't got an app on the dock. You just need two hands. I can also drag a link from Safari to the Notes app, the Mail app, or a message. So I'm going to open up Safari. So I'm going to go to a news site. I'm going to open Mail in Split View. Create a new message. Grab a link and just tap and hold and drag it over to your message. Or you can copy the link to a message. So they're taking the same link, just tap and hold it. And it's there waiting to be dropped somewhere. Uh, I can't open messages because it's not on my dock. So again, I need to open up the message and drag it in to that message. Now I can Transfer a photo from a web page in Safari to the Photos app. So open Safari and we're going to replace Mail with Photos app in Split View. And I'll take a picture, maybe this one, and drag it into the Photos app. I can copy a PDF from the Mail app to the Files app. Or the notes app. So in mail, open mail, 
and find a PDF in one of your messages. So this is a message here which has a, a PDF at the bottom there. And I want, to, I want to copy that PDF to the Files app. So I'm going to open up the Files app, put it into Split View, and I've got to find on in the Files app, you can just drop it where you like, or you might have a folder. I think I've already got folder for PDF, so I'll open it ready. Tap and hold the PDF and drag it into the Files app. Now before we had drag and drop, I would have had to have opened that PDF and then shared it to the Files app, and there's a few more steps involved. You can also use the Maps app to drag your location to Messages or Mail. So open up Maps. And location, I've just sort of dropped a, a pin there. So this, this is the uh, location I want to share with someone in a message to help them find a particular location. So I'm going to tap and hold that pin and start to drag it. And again, I'm going to put it into messages. So messages is not on my dock. So I need to... Still holding my finger on. It's not complicated. It's just a bit awkward. Find the Messages app, and then put it into a new message, I think, and drop it into here. So it's sort of the same message I'm using for all my examples. So I've now got that location into a message, or you could put it into an email. Open Maps, open Email in Split View. Create a new message. Tap and hold the location and drag it over to your mail message. I'll send that to myself just to test it. Send that message. Just so you can see what it would look like. This is the message that I've received. And when I tap it, it shows me that location. And if I tap the link, it will actually open the map to that location. You can drag a calendar event from the calendar app to mail or messages. So if I open the calendar, find a calendar event, tap and hold, start to drag it. And I want to put that into the mail app. And Still got my finger on it. I need a new message and drop it in. Then I can send that message off. So in this time, I'm going to remove an app from the dock and put messages onto the dock just to make it a bit easier. So open up the calendar. Open up messages in Split View. Tap and hold the calendar event and drag it to your message and then send it. You can also drag a contact from the Contacts app to Messages to share contact information. Open Contacts, put Messages into Split View, a new message, I'll just add it into the same one. Tap and hold your contact and then drag it into your message. I can select a block of text and transfer it from one app to another. I'll do that in, in Safari and find a story. And I want to put that into Notes. So put that into Split View. Create a new note. Tap and hold and copy your text. Copy, drag the text that I want to copy, that whole block. And then tap and hold the text and drag it over to your note. You can drag a reminder into mail or messages. So there's the reminder and I'll put that into messages. So I'll put that into split view. and take the reminder, drag it, 
drop it into a message. You could also drag that reminder into mail. Any of the Apple apps will work with drag and drop. Third party apps, not all of them are working. While drag and drop is a feature available anywhere on the iPad, third party apps still need to implement support for it. So they're not all going to work. So it may not be immediately available in all apps.